All right, let's bring you some developing news now. A standoff between refugees and police in Cape Town, uh, specifically Green Market Square, is unfolding. ENCA's Nobesutu Hejana is there and joins us now live. Uh, Nobesutu, take us through exactly what's unfolding there. All right, about a month, uh, Michelle, we saw that um, the foreign nationals who were calling on the United Nations to take them, or rather to make them leave, or uh, provide necessary um, uh, resources for them to leave South Africa. Some were saying that South Africa is no longer safe for them. And today, we are seeing a standoff between those foreign nationals who were staging a sit-in uh, just outside the United Nations offices. And currently, there's a man who's uh, down uh, we're not sure yet what is happening. At, he is, though, breathing, so he is alive. And some foreign nationals have been taken into these police vans behind me. A number of people are being removed, and the kids are also um, being taken by the police. Uh, whose parents have been arrested due to these fights. And uh, if I may ask Lungile to walk this area, there are other people here who are also being arrested by the police. Um, at this point, we're not sure what actually transpired this morning, but we do know that uh, they were staging a sit-in uh, in these offices. I will try and speak to my colleague Ulungile, if we can try and speak to some of the people who are arrested here. Um, we'll just wait for the police to move this area. And uh, if I can, may, I want to speak to these gentlemen who are here. So can you just tell us uh, what happened? You must take him out of the because very severe for me. You understand? If, if, if supposed to take us out, supposed government to, to organize something, but they, 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 they show us that they don't care about us, they, 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 they negligent us, that's why they send the police. Because government is like a father. If you're a father, no matter what child is doing, you must always know how to, 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 to please the, to make the child. What actually happened this morning, because I understand that you guys have been staging a sit-in at the U.S. offices. So what happened? Okay, sister, the point is here, yeah, we are very tired of South Africa. You understand? I stay here 20 years, I have a child with South Africa, but they don't care about me, I still have a slum seeker with the reject from 20 years. I have my sister staying in UK. So from five years old, we get papers and get everything. We're working hard. We came yesterday. We are so young, 20 years, today 40 years. We sacrifice our life here to work here. We are not ourselves. We come here. Mandela told us by 1994. He said, South African, leave your brother, come to enjoy with you. But uh, we, we find out you guys, you don't help here but us. You understand? We want to be together, to be family. Because Mandela called us to come here. You see, that's why we are here, but we find out with the 20 years, no matter how we stay with you guys, you don't, you don't love us. What is that? You, when I was young at school, I found that the, 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 the people come to collect the money to DRC. We, we contribute, we contribute a lot for South Africa, but they don't care about us. All right, Michelle, roads have been closed. As you can see, um, behind me, people are looking over. Uh, traffic is being diverted to other areas as uh, the standoff between foreign nationals and police are, is still taking place. More people are being taken into these police vans and uh, it's, it's actually a hectic uh, scene here. More people are here. And uh, I, if I will, I will try to speak to some uh, South Africans who are watching over who are actually moving away. So it looks like no one wants to speak. So can you just tell us um, what is happening here? Actually, I'm coming from Office Day Bar Bar Barrack Street, and when I arrived, I just said, I thought it was a rain, but it was in a rain, so the police, uh, the law enforcement, they was busy pulling out the gun, so they're taking each and everybody to go away from, from the place that they've been taking over for, for days. So I really don't know what's going on. I'm also a foreigner here, so I really don't know what's going on here. So what do you make of this? Because I understand it's been over a month now, people are staging a sit-in at the, the UN offices, yeah. pleading with the United Nations to take them out because they're saying that South Africa is not safe. Would you say that you are not safe? Yeah, but actually we've been treating in the country, so... This is my very first time to arrive here. I just say because I'm coming from office to go and make my ID. That's why I passed down here. But it's very bad. As for foreigners, they're treating us very, very badly here, which is not a good thing. So they must get a peaceful solution. We've been treating. It's not good what they're doing to our sisters here. Yes.
So, Michelle, more um, foreign nationals are pleading with the South African government as well as the United Nations to take them out of South Africa. Like we heard from this gentleman, he's saying that uh, some of them are feeling that they're not safe in South Africa and uh, more people have, are being dragged here being taken into these police vans, but we'll definitely keep you um, updated as to what is happening. If I will try, though, we move to this area where um, two ladies have been put in this police van, and this lady who is sitting down with her kids behind her, if I will try to speak to her, ma'am, can you please come down and tell us how, how you're feeling at this point and what is happening? I feel so angry and disappointed. Why? Because... The, uh, the president of the South Africa, you, you don't uh, uh, you don't fight for us. You just want to take us away. For what? Thank you many foreigners here. For what? What was what foreigners to do for us? Uh, so you safe. so you want to be taken out of South Africa? Which country do you think that you'll be safe in? <laughs> <laughs> okay. You see, foreigners, if, as foreigners, we didn't do anything. As foreigners, we are innocent. We so which country do you want to be taken into? Any country. We want to go to Dubai. Dubai is the, 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 the USA. They, they are not foreigners. The USA, they don't treat foreigners like this. As foreigners, we didn't do any crime. The president here, yeah, they say, as foreigners, we must leave. Now, what about us? You see, what the president do? He said, what the foreigners must go out to our country. He said, we don't need foreigners here. Then now we I want to go. You see what they do. And we want to go because if it's USA, you say they allow foreigners there. They don't treat us like this. This is Bush. My auntie's dying here. My auntie died here. For so what? They kill many foreigners. They kill foreigners in that league. So which I country know. do you come from? I'm coming from Kenya. I need to go. If I ask, we fight for our right. The president did not decide for us to go. So would you take it if you being returned to Kenya? Would no, my I'm thinking we don't want to go into any country. We don't want to go back to our country. Our country in Kenya, they love people. They love foreigners. I do not want to go back to Kenya. We want our right. We want our rights. We want us to go to end. The, the president said all of the, all of the foreigners must go away to go to any country. Then now the president is, what is the president do here? I'm going to judge you, president. I'm going to judge you. I'm going to fight for you. I'm going to fight for you. We need to go. We need to go to any country. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. My mother. My mother. My mother. All right. So, like hectic scenes here, Michelle. Um, this lady is being dragged, and the lady that we tried to speak to is claiming that this is her mother and she was trying to fight with the police who are holding her mother. These are the people that were staging a sit-in at the outside the United Nations offices, seeking the United Nations to assist them uh, in taking them out of South Africa because they're claiming that South Africa is no longer safe for them. They share a same sentiment saying that they do not want to be taken to their home countries and saying that South Africa is not an option either but would like to be taken to other countries where they will feel more safe in. No, but Sutu, uh, you know, we've been talking about the fact that uh, these refugees uh, were in staging a sitting in uh, Green Market Square uh, in that area for uh, some time now. Do we know what sparked uh, emotions spilling over there this morning? Was there anything in particular that happened that caused police to come there in their numbers? Uh, we can see there from the visuals that Nombasuta has been showing us that uh, some people left with bloody noses, uh, bloodied faces, uh, quite a bit of violence there this morning, Nombasuta. What sparked it? Um, from my understanding, Michelle, they've been trying to um, seek assistance from the United Nations and are forcing the authorities to help them. And this is when now the police were called in because they were starting to get violent and very aggressive. So the police were called in to try and restore calm in this um, area. And but. Uh, a scuffle broke out and the situation turned violent. That is when now police came in and started um, trying to calm the situation and uh, people were being arrested and uh, some have been taken into these police inyalas 
uh, that it's very chaotic out here. We're trying now to move closer to where they staged a sit-in. Uh, this is the area where they've been staying for over now a month and uh, kids were not being led to go to school because their parents moved from different areas around Cape Town to stage a sit-in here. As you can see, some of the things that they were used as uh, beds, people have now been removed to this area. But on the other side, there is a standoff between the police and some foreign nationals. Uh, Lungile and myself are now trying to move to the area where there's like a, a barrel between the police and uh, the foreign nationals in the area. From that side, you can see foreign nationals and from this side are the police who are trying to restore calm in this area. There are parts, people have been cooking here and obviously this is where they've been residing for at least over a month now. Now, Busuta, we're going to stay on these visuals as that situation continues to unfold there on Green Market Square in Cape Town. And uh, Nobisuta Hajana and our cameraman Lungile uh, both there trying to give us a sense of how things are unfolding there. You can see from the visuals uh, we're showing you on screen now that this is where this group of foreign nationals have been living effectively for some weeks now. And it's within uh, sort of a stone's throw of the UN's refugee agency there in the Western Cape. But they're asking for government assistance. They've asked the UN to intervene, many saying that they don't want to go back to their home countries, but they don't feel safe in South Africa either, and they're looking for a way forward. Uh, let's stay with these visuals now and show you the scene unfolding there in Cape Town. Green Market Square, as we know it, quite a popular tourist attraction there in Cape Town. Uh, that city now going on for some weeks by foreign nationals. Let's listen in to what's unfolding there. So can you just tell us what happened? What happened for you for the police to come here? What the actually transpired? You can see the, what they are doing with us. You can see the way they are treating us. We are human beings. We have right to fight. We are fighting for our right thing. But what happened this morning? Because I understand you we guys were surprised the police. They come. They arrive this morning. Start to shoot, beating foreigners, guy. That is not fair. They we are human beings. Did you see? The police, they come. We are surprised they tell all the business people to close their business, to beat us, to eat us. For what? What do we do? We didn't break anything here around. One thing I want to say, this is not law. What I know in life, this is not law. Why are they killing the foreigners? 2008, there was Finnish xenophobia. They were killing people. I never seen the court. One of South Africa guy passed in court because he killed Forenia. We never saw it. What about the what to do now? Kid, kid of one week. What they done here? I never saw it. South Africa they don't like Forenia at all. One month, maybe inside they are shooting. Look that moment's naked. Look at that moment's naked. That just this is not law. Where's the humanity in Africa? Where's the humanity in Africa? This is not law. Yeah. We want to ask humanity to, to come and see what is happening here. They're killing children, they're killing women. Look, women are naked. They, they, they want to look up water. water. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you now. 
Yeah, no problem. Yeah. Yeah. yeah yes, really, uh, what uh, government South Africa they are decide, I'm not pressured about that. Because anything we need to get solution about that. Because you cannot take people like anymore, just to come, you start to take people, even the kid, you are not care about the kid. We are here almost one month. Nobody did doing anything wrong. Nobody did steal anything. Then... No, 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 we're not going to go there. If you hurt me, I'll sue you. I'll tell you. If you hurt me, I'll sue you. All right, our reporter there, Nobu Suto Hejana, is on the scene of clashes between foreign nationals and police there on Green Market Square in South Africa. Let's listen into this interview. But the cops come to doing something wrong, then we cannot appreciate things like that. We are here almost one month. Nobody did steal anything, nobody did anything wrong, but we cannot just cops coming like this to start shooting people, to start to take people, and even the small child, those ones for a for two years week. for one week also. We cannot allow things like that. We are here for our right. We didn't come here for to break the shops or to do anything or to say something wrong. We are here for our right. Because like me, almost I'm here. All, almost nine years I'm here in South Africa. I'm still using a station. You cannot see anywhere. My brother went and overseas 2030. Now he got the papers. Me, I'm here 2011. Until now I'm using a cell. We come here to complain for our law because there is no feature for our kid. You can see somebody who is born here, is grown up until 20 years old, but they still use a salam. We cannot allow, we are here just to explain the government, now we can get solution about that. But look at what the government, the government, the South Africa government, what they are doing. Really, I'm not appreciate about that. Thank you.